What's happening, fellas? The Steeler here back again with Xbox Beastfire podcast. Uh, no, this is not my podcast. This is actually Next Gen 720's podcast. He was cool enough to actually let me host uh, tonight, and a uh, big shout out to him as well. And uh, for the rest of you guys, introduce yourselves and let them know where they can find you, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. While we let the room kind of fill up, we'll start with all day. What's up, everybody? This is the pettiest fucker on um, internet <laughs> services. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Video Theory, or you can find me on YouTube all day digital. Yeah, let's get it going. All right, D, what about you? Yeah, this is D Batch. You can catch me at D Batch on YouTube and on Twitter, Gemini 002 CA. And uh, T Reaper, what about yourself? Hey, T guys, it's T Reaper. What's going on? You can find me at T Reaper on YouTube or at Twitter at, at Thomas Barker 61. And, and hanging out with R. Kelly. Yeah, and peeing on PlayStations. Uh, and uh, <laughs> last but not least, uh, Next Gen 720, go ahead and do your thing. You can catch me at the local Walmart keeping the children <laughs> safe from these fucking widows on the Switch. That's my <laughs> Uh, yeah, at, at Next Gen 720 on YouTube and at Zyre2005 on Twitter, right? You left that out. Uh, and Walmart. If you find them there, you can follow them around at Walmart as well. Uh, and also, uh, real quick, I, I, I kind of was a little bit behind on the whole Switch thing. What's the deal? What's the price point? What do you guys think about that? I don't cover that kind of stuff often. I'm kind of out of dark here. Uh, I think the $300 uh, dollar price point is depressing. <laughs> It costs three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. Um, the pro controller Ooh. is uh, seventy bucks. The uh, charging dock is eighty bucks. Uh, what else? The Joy Cons for one of them it's uh, fifty bucks. For both of them it's eighty. Who the fuck's eating chips in the background, man? <laughs> it's, it's, it's my <laughs> squirrels. My bad. <laughs> uh, all right, D. What about you? I know you was a little Nintendo fanboy for a little bit. What do you think? Oh man, they 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 blew it. Uh, from from. Uh, a hardware standpoint, as if you consider it as a handheld, it's pretty good for a handheld. As a console, a home console, it's garbage. And um, the, they're trying to market it like as a hybrid. And if the console part of the system was up to snuff, then okay. But that $300 price point is just <clears throat> horrible. It's overpriced. The attachments are overpriced. I, 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 Nintendo, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I always had said that I would market it as some kind of mobile handheld device, like a successor to a 3DS before a home console. Would you say that's a fair assessment? Yeah, with everything that's uh, that we've seen now, definitely. It's 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 a handheld that you can dock and play your games at home, and that's the way it should be marketed as, not as uh, it's a console that is also a handheld and it's a hybrid. No, man, it's a handheld that you can play on your TV at home. It's, it's, it's the, the power is nowhere near any of the consoles. And that's really, really sad, man. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I remember, uh, I remember certain somebody, uh, going off the rails about the power to switch better than the Xbox one. D what happened, bro? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we, we had, we, we had, we had, a, we had a lot of, we had a lot of leaks that were suggesting that. So I was like, I always, so, so I always said final, with a grain of salt. Final output here. But, what's the final output here? Well, the, from what from what they haven't really t told us the numbers, but from what I can physically see and with the textures that they're using, it's definitely under Xbox One. I I, I would say it's I would say it's probably just under even a teraflop of performance. Hey, uh, would you say that it's uh, it's Wii U on the go? You know, uh, if 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 you had asked me this question a week ago, I'd be like, bruh, but. You know what? I, 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 I think I think it is. I think it's oh. just a little bit better than the it, it is. It's like the it's like the Wii U on the go. It really it really mm -hmm. is because it's just a little bit better than the Wii the Wii U. But if you really look at it, I don't know if it was next gen that said this, but if you if you really look at it, uh, there's no games that we saw on that reveal that the Wii U could not run. I didn't see anything that said, Oh geez, the Wii U couldn't run that. Nothing. Yep. Yeah, and I, I actually remember calling that weeks ago. I predicted it would be Wii U graphics on the go, and we used around a half a teraflop. So, you know, it's not too much more powerful than a Wii U, but I think for a mobile console, it, it's it's probably going to do great for some kind of handheld, right? Obviously, the best experience you can probably have in terms of visuals, but that it's severely limited in its market in a world where, you know, the Scorpio is going to have six fucking teraflops. It's going to be insane 
And, and you know, we're kind of just covering this, letting the room and, and, and people kind of fill up the room here. And if you guys got any questions or anything, feel free to comment down below. I've also got a giveaway uh, winner to announce. If you'll reply to me, I will announce him on the show uh, for a back compact collection of Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Uh, surprisingly, there were, you know, a fraction of the entries I normally have. Normally a couple hundred people enter, and uh, this time it was kind of easy to choose. So, uh, yeah, if I if he does reply, I'll announce him on the show. Uh, but like I said, thanks for tuning in. I know we normally don't do this stuff over here, and it kind of mix it up a little bit. What do you think about what you saw besides, you know, people at Walmart and weirdos with this whole NX thing next gen? Zaire, where the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> he's hiding them scrolls. He went to go pre-order it right now. I, 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 want, I, I, want, I want to add something, though, dealer. Like, uh, when Microsoft is ready to announce Scorpio, just the marketing alone, just their slogan alone could destroy them six times more powerful than the um, Nintendo Switch. Right there, it's dead. What do you guys? What do you guys think about the fact that it's only like the like the concept that Xbox are the people that are complaining about the price, like in that we have no games to play, so we should all go like basically go fuck ourselves. Well, the Nintendo weirdos, they're they're they've probably been waiting for this for a while, so they don't have an issue with the price. But they're after the initial wave of those fanboys getting the system. You have the casuals, you know, and the casuals, they're not going to be too impressed with that, with that price. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. But, the thing that really sold the Wii, how much was the Wii, the original Wii when it launched? 250? I think it was uh, 200. I think that shit, that, like, well, that, that thing, like, was the last Nintendo thing that actually sold really good. But that was, it was pretty cheap. Know, it was, it, it had a, it was like in, like, every home. And don't don't get us wrong, people out there. If you're a fan of Nintendo, if you're excited for this, you know, do whatever you want with the console, lick it, you know, hump it, whatever the fuck you want to do. But really, I think that a lot of people are kind of let down with the performance and especially the price point, seeing as it's essentially a tablet with a Tegra processor uh, and running graphics similar to the Wii U. There's no real way to get around that, right? Uh, even Ubisoft themselves have come out and said you cannot directly port to the the Switch from Xbox One or PS4. It's it's pretty much impossible. They're going to have to cut corners to really get those titles running on the Switch. And I, I don't really think anyone that really put too much research into this really thought that full-on next-generation titles are going to be running on the Switch. It's a, it's a mobile platform, right? Um, but... I don't know. Uh, I'm not really super surprised. I am surprised at 300, though. I expected 250, probably. Well, the, that's the biggest. Thing. I heard that it's actually, you know, it's actually selling out like everywhere. But that's only because like the stock. That's because they well. made like six of them. You know, that's yeah. what happens yeah. when you make six of something and you sell it to, you know, one per Best Buy in a state, right? Like that. That happened with the Wii. They they didn't make enough of them, and it is what it is. They got plenty. They got a couple more months to produce. You know, they at did. least 500,000 more of those things. I would imagine. What did you guys think of the What did you guys think of the games that were were shown? Do you did any What do you mean the four the four the four fucking launch games? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. you, you know what, dude? Like, I, I really wanted Nintendo to do well. Like, I was I didn't want them to fail at this. You know, this is a clean slate, a clean shot. I wanted to do well. I didn't want it to fail. And you know, I'm, I pre-ordered one. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it. Maybe to play after I beat Zelda, it might be a wrap, dude. It's not even. I might even give my pre-order away. You know what I mean? What you you don't want to play Skyrim again? Wow. Again? Well, I mean, if, if you believe in time machines, then yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's fine. But um, playing Skyrim again, dude, that's yeah. just really that's really again, again, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a phenomenal game, right? It's still one of the best RPGs ever made. But fuck, fortieth time is not a charm. But, but here, wait, so. wait, wait, dealer, that's not even the big the big. My big issue is you're charging me sixty fucking dollars for a game I can get for six dollars. <laughs> yeah, literally. G2A.com, yeah, you could probably get it for six bucks and it'd be 60 FPS. Yeah. You know, whatever the hell you want to play it at. Next gen, are you back? What the fuck are you doing? I mean, All right, bro. Up. Up. All, right, bro. All right, what's your take on this whole NX bullshit? No, yeah, I think, like I said yesterday, um, and I've been saying, you know, we claim we won better, and not just from Microsoft or Sony or, or it's a Nintendo thing, but I don't see how. You know, and anybody in good faith, good conscience, or whatever, uh, that say or claim that they may be Nintendo fans or want Nintendo to do better, and we keep supporting them, and they're done. I don't understand how you can put out a console. <laughs> and I understand it, it, it is more or less a handheld or whatever you want to call it, but they're not saying that this is, they're not marketing as such. This is their ninth generation console. 
how can they put out hardware in 2017 as we get in hardware in, in 2013? Mm-hmm. It's the third generation in a row that we've had very, very shitty hardware from Nintendo. You know, it's be the third generation in a row that it's not going to get any of the big AAA uh, multi-plats. And now these same yep. people said, you know, I don't need multi-plats on my Switch. I have other consoles for that. They were the same one doing videos saying, yeah, it's going to be powerful. We're going to get the third-party support. <laughs> and now it doesn't matter anymore, you know? Yeah. Still no voice chat. Still no game advice. Still no achievements. Like, it, it, it's like, you know. What about I, the whole online stuff. thing, Zaire? Do you think that's going to that's gonna work for them? Or do you think that's going to screw no. them? No. No. You, you, you need a paid app. Like, come on. And another so, so another of everything, thing of everything, Z, what is the thing that let you down the most? What what you say? What's the thing that let you down the most? Uh, well, let I, I again, it's still their policies. B, their policies. Uh, they re, they're refusing to just get with the times. And just to know? clarify, their policies being they decide what kind of games your kid can't play. They decide that their games have no gore. They don't leave that up to the parent. They try to be the parent for the parent. That type of shit, right? Yeah, and you, you need a paid app, and you know it's crazy, man. Yeah. You, you know, I agree. You know what the biggest slap in the face was for people who stuck with them from the Wii to the Wii U, buying all their games um, digitally, and you know, not to get that content back is so you have to rebuy these SNES games again. Yeah. For the same, that's fucking. You want me to buy Mario three, three different times? Are you yeah, fucking it's kidding? I, I when I sold yeah. when I sold my Wii U. I was, this is when I first found out about it, and I was trying to, I think I had a Zelda on there, one of the Zelda games, and I was trying to, to get it, and I found out, nope, it's lo- it's hard locked to the console, doesn't matter if, uh, and actually my account is hard locked to that console too, so like once I delete that account, I don't, that's it, off the console, I have no access to it again. Like, that's an is, example of shitty policies. Yeah. yeah, that's just stupid. And real quick, I don't, I might have some technical things going on here, uh, To me, it's saying the title of this stream is wrong on my screen. It's supposed to be out about an Xbox and Xbox Scorpio updates coming this spring, as well as uh, a game making its return to Xbox. Um, So I apologize if that's the case. It might just be bugging on my side. Thanks to all 100 plus you guys tuning in. Finger bang the shout out like button. Uh, And if you want to see these guys' information, just uh, rewind when this uploads to the channel. You'll be able to follow all these guys on Twitter and YouTube if you happen to give a fuck. Now, uh, I really wanted to get into really the main subject here is kind of incoming updates for this spring. Xbox is really launching a lot of new things this spring, new guides. I covered a lot of this a couple months ago, and it's actually coming to fruition, which is pretty fucking awesome. So really, uh, when it comes to new updates coming this spring for Xbox One and Xbox Scorpio, uh, they're doing beam integration with the guide, so you'll be able to maybe uh, double tap or single tap even. I think they're going to actually s- switch that role of the of the guide button, right? So instead of double tap, I, I think it was single tap is what they said. Yeah, I think instead of double tapping the guide to bring to the guide button to bring up the guide, uh, you single tap it now, and to get out of the game and go back to the dash, you would double tap instead of single tap, which that might take me a minute to get used to, but it seems cool. No, it, right. it, 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 it makes sense because I mean, you you push it once to open it and you double like closing a door. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, you know, I get it. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty cool. But like I said, they're going to integrate to Beam into the OS of the Xbox One apparently, which uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. Apparently, it'd be pretty seamless. You don't have to launch any apps. It's built right in, kind of like achievements. Uh, mm-hmm. What are you, are you guys going to use that? What are you going to do? Yeah, I think they got a real tough battle ahead of them. So they're going to go directly against Twitch, but direct integration, I think, is very smart. I think it'll help a lot. Yeah, I, I, I got I, I got to try it out first to see how it works. Yeah, I, I think they still should have tr- tried to make some type of Twitch deal. It wouldn't hurt them alongside direct Twitch, of being, like direct yeah. Twitch integration or something like that. Yeah, I think yeah. it it, w- it wouldn't hurt. It's a streaming service. I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt. You can use Netflix, right? You can use Hulu, right? I mean. Yeah. Well, the you know, difference is, though, they paid a fuck ton of money to actually buy this. You know, they're actually launching, right. like, trying to position themselves as a competitor. A lot of money's made on Twitch just donating, not to mention the ad revenue. Uh, it's kind of crazy. So I think this is their way of trying to enter. It, it's a curious decision because nobody was really asking for another competitor to streaming services. But Zaire, I know you stream sometimes. You going to use this? Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think. Well, they do it. What they taken Twitch down or something from the Xbox One? No, no, no. no. no you still got all your options. Beam but is just building, an integration. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna build Beam right into the little guide button, the guide menu when you when you single tap the guide. 
Oh yeah, I mean, I have, I have, I, this is one of the reasons I haven't um, uh, used it yet because I ain't like hooking up El God or all that stuff. But I'm gonna see uh, how it's like and see if it's uh, much better than, um, I guess, Twitch. Yeah, and keep in mind, one of the big differences, guys, is that with Beam, it's interactive streaming. So the community literally votes on, like, if they want you to play, uh, I don't know, One Shot Death or something. Like, you don't have a choice. If you decide to to actually have interactive streaming, the community can decide how the rules of the game you're playing and interact directly with your stream. That's one of the biggest differences. And and also, if the, the, the community can actually hop in and play with you if there's available slots. Yeah, you it's know, supposed to be a little more community-focused and integrated. I think it's a good idea. It, it, they, it, the important thing is, just like the Windows Store, is if they don't implement this right, uh, then none of it matters, right? So they've got to do it, and they've got to do it correctly. Right. I might give it a go, especially when Scorpio hits. Even though that, that bit rate and stuff isn't going to do those games justice, they're going to look ridiculous. You're not going to see that on any stream. Uh, I, might, I might play around with it a little bit. Uh, also, game DVR controls will be inter- integrated right into the pop-out guide menu. I think that's fucking awesome. No more, you know, pop, snapping an app or anything. You go right into that that little pop-out dash and control the clip size and all that shit. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Hey, we, 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 we got a comment here. It says, uh, is, uh, Geek Sauce says, isn't what you can, this is what you can do already on the PS4. Why is this bitch smack then? Just being a real turd, not being a turd. I don't know what the fuck. So you can do that on. You got Beam on the PS4. There's no Beam no, on the he's, PS4. He's lying. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So we also got uh, Phil Phil Spencer saying that Mech Assault is going to make its return to the Xbox uh, sooner or later. What do you guys think? Very about that? very happy about that. That was my first online game ever. Yeah. So. Mega Soul was the game I I literally what was I like fucking 11 something I I looked up sitting there in Walmart and I looked up at that little TV and I saw Mega Soul and that looked unlike anything on the PlayStation just the destruction at the time the particles that you run into buildings you know they crack and crumble that was a system pusher in terms of the hardware and that game that game really sold me on the the original Xbox I really enjoyed mm-hmm. it What do you guys think about that game I Yeah Mega Soul was I, cool Mega Salt was excellent, man. I really enjoyed that game. And I remember, if I remember correctly, didn't they have like a big, huge uh, joystick that you had with it that had all the different buttons on it? Uh, um, Chrome House? Was it Chrome? Yeah, House? I think that was a different game. Oh, uh, no, still, still it had like a hundred dollar computer, a hundred dollar controller. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. it was like it was still Italian. It was yeah. Good, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was nuts, dude. <laughs> That was a massive, massive controller with like a hundred buttons on it. It had dual joysticks and Jesus. And each button actually worked. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, it's yeah. Italian was was the truth. Hey, somebody says Mech Assault is it exclusive? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd imagine it's a console exclusive, kind of like Street Fighter no, Five. No, if, if, yeah. if, it, if, it, if it gets on the PS4, it'd be Assault Mecha. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. It, not, Microsoft, it Microsoft owned that IP, though. so it's not, it won't be on PlayStation, but. Uh, it might come, of course, it might come to Windows, but it'll still be a console exclusive. It'll still be something fun to play on Xbox Live with your friends. I like Bill. to see what they do with the cloud, like, right? And whatever they're going to do with it. Or see how maybe how uh, the uh, the title has evolved since since the sixth generation. Who? I mean, my question is, who are they going to get to make it? Yeah, yeah. So we were discussing uh, like a week or two ago on Beast Fire on your channel. Uh, you know, I, like I said, we don't know if they have... Uh, studios right now we didn't know about black tusk we didn't know about these other studios uh until around the reveal of the xbox one and those studios had been around for i think around eight months so they could have another couple studios for all for all we know you know um but you're right if they don't who are they going to get to make it that's a good question how would you guys like that game to be improved what would you like to see in a mech assault a modern mech assault uh, shit uh I don't know. Like I said, probably fully destructible environments. Yeah. I like something they're gonna crack down. You know what I mean? What would you in the chat? What would you guys like to see in a full redone next generation Scorpio enabled Mech Assault? I, I think it will be fucking insane. Just the, the things they could do with Vega and and, and just it, I don't know, man. I think it would be pretty cool looking. A good tech demo at the very least. We need one of those for for the Scorpio. Definitely. 
Yeah, and another thing about Beam too, it's not gonna have any latest, uh, not as much latency. Oh yeah, yeah, Twitch. yeah, yeah. That's right. Twitch has like twenty-five to thirty seconds of latency, meaning when you post a comment, the guy on the other end is not going to respond to your comment, or you're not going to see his response for twenty-five seconds if he responds immediately. With Beam, it's like one or two seconds, so it's it's definitely a lot more real time. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. It took some technology to do that, believe it or not. Some of these guys get massive audiences. It's crazy. Uh, also, have you guys played Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox yeah, One? I have it. Yeah, I have it. Uh, uh, Sometimes, most of the time, runs like shit. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's kind of a. Uh, I, I covered this before. I figured I'd throw that in there. Ark has been confirmed to be getting uh, Scorpio support as well, so they've already pledged support for Scorpio with that. But title. my thing is that's just not even optimized for PCs, so I don't know. Hopefully, it gets better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With this much power, at the very least, uh, we get more 1080 you know, um, Yeah. Say what, T Reaver? I have a couple friends that are addicted to that game. That's all they play. It's huge, man. You can build your own forts and walls. Have and have raids and shit. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those games I want to get into. But like you said, on consoles right now, and this is both of them, the base PS4 and Xbox One, the game just – and it is out on the base PS4, right? I'm pretty sure I, I saw a report on how badly it was running there too. The Pro does it a little better, though, if, if what I read was correct. But it's just not – it's not the greatest on either of these base platforms. So nah, the Pro so, and the Scorpio versions should be a lot better. And, and, and you know what? And that's a trend I see with these game preview things, you know, on PC. And um, just they, they call it preview. So any fuck ups that come along with it, it's excusable. Even though the game, like H1Z ones have been in game preview for about, what, two years? Yeah. yeah. And people are playing, you know, 20 bucks a pop. You know what I mean? And now they separated both modes. They have the uh, <laughs> King of the Hill. <laughs> And then they got the uh, what is it, the survival. So they split up the main game. And you have to buy, you know, <laughs> crazy bro. Like, yeah, just release yep. the game already. Fix your shit. Release the game. And we'll, I mean, we bought it the first time. It makes you think we're not gonna invest in it. If we already bought well, it. Like, well, like I said, man, any game where you can punch barrels with your bare fucking hands and sparks fly off, that's pretty badass, man. <laughs> that, that's actually the first game. That's actually the first video me and Z did together on his channel. Was talking about H one Z one. A long <laughs> time ago, and it, it was pretty funny because we were tearing that fucking game apart. It was it was right before Sony had just sold their online interactive studios, right? That used mm -hmm. to be owned by Sony, correct? And then Did they ever released that play. game? Nope. Uh, like it's still not done, bro. Nope. Oh. Uh, and this was the big game that they were hyping up years ago. I remember this like it was yesterday. And is it still is H one Z one still out on PS four? Yeah. And speaking of like Neo, right? Or Neo? What's that Neo, game called? Neo, yeah. I mean, these dudes will say, well, you ain't got no exclusives, no hype up Neo or Neo, fucking Keanu Reeves. That's what we'll call it. And that game's on <laughs> PC as well. So if you're not counting games that are on PC, then don't don't mention Keanu Reeves because that game's on PC as well. All right? That's a little common logic for you. It's a little also, cheap, little Dark Souls ripoff, man. That's all. <laughs> that, that's. I mean, I'm not. I'm not uh, complaining about competition. I mean, if that forces From Software to do a better job, even though their stuff's pretty flawless, it's whatever. Competition's great, but you know, it is a Dark Souls ripoff. Um, and maybe, who knows? Maybe it does it better in Dark Souls. We never know. We didn't know what the fuck Dark Souls was, you know, ten years ago, and it turns out to be something that a lot of people really enjoy. And speaking of uh, nothing to do with Dark Souls, uh, Arena is coming to Xbox One here in the next few months. Uh, yeah. That's the tournament system where you can basically create tournaments in any game you want with whoever you want. And developers, publishers may even throw in any kind of prizes. Like let's say you have a, a tournament in Mortal Kombat X or Injustice 2 and Warner Brothers and NetherRealm say, well, hey, here, here's a, you know, fuck, here's some currency in the game. Like there's real prizes involved potentially. What do you guys think about that? I definitely could use that. Reaper, you don't yeah. need shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a fucking thing. You have everything. <laughs> I could use the arena instead of actually setting up the tournament myself. Oh, is, well, like that way. I thought you were talking about getting some fucking prizes. You know? Oh, you're talking about like getting some uh, some organization going on there. Yeah. Nah, uh, man. <laughs> now, setting up a tournament is a pain in the ass. I, it's, it's actually really annoying. <laughs> Something that does it for me is actually a lot better. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. You're, you're a Halo player, right? Yeah, I am. So do they have any season mode or competi uh, competitive modes in Halo? As in, like, seasons, like, kind of like Overwatch or things like that? Yeah, that's uh, – actually, Halo is the uh, – it's the MLG uh, uh, season of uh, the spring, I think, right now. It's from January to February. So I wonder how Arena will work with that. Maybe take over game battles. I don't know. 
Uh, I don't know, but you know, Halo Five automatically has its own uh, competitive uh, section inside the game itself. It's called Arena, yeah. and then right. Social is the if, one that's not MLG. If anything, game big game battles may be smart enough to actually implement Arena's yeah. built-in functionality to make mm -hmm. their shit even easier. Yeah, you know. they'll probably have like templates you can set up. You know. Um, different game modes you can just copy and paste it or however you want like set up the game battle so it's already like a pre-selected playlist yeah you know, with, with the rule sets and all that that'd be cool yeah is there any uh playstation uh pro news or anything going on there i haven't really been keeping up with it not really nothing mm -mm. kind of oh i, saw, I did I hear that they, they're not really revealing the sales figures for it well, yeah. I, I did hear that it did win December. It won December. Oh, I mean, I can't believe the Xbox One S was even in competition with brand new hardware in November anyway. Like, I just expected right. PlayStation to steamroll, and they were less than 100K within each other. They both sold over a million in November alone, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's it's crazy. Very, very interesting with the Switch on the market and the Scorpio. I can't wait, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. It's been I a while. <laughs> Thank you think hey, you you think the Switch is going to do better than the uh, the Wii U? I hope yeah. not. I mean, I mean, I, I honestly, I, like I said, I, I hope, hope not. It will. <laughs> yeah, it will. Can pack it up. I'm just fuck out of it. I have no yeah. in that company whatsoever. <laughs> so you just wanted to go. You just wanted to go third party. You want you, you want all them I, games. I, 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 don't, I, don't even, I don't even want. You no, know I don't even care about Mario games. I'm just tired of them out there. Releasing these fucking gimmicks and ice cubes in the cup. No one asked for that shit, man. What do you um, think about that arms game, Zaire? Zaire. <laughs> Zaire. <laughs> one, two, switch. Like, no one asked for that shit. Yeah, man. they, they heard, heard that they, uh, that, I guess they said they announced that, um, the 3DS will be, will continue to get support. I don't know for how long, but they said it's still, oh, they'll still be pumping out games. The, 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 those guys that were, um, I think it was Digital Foundry and some other news outlets that have played the games, uh, they're actually saying ARMS is pretty good. They're saying that it's actually fun and that the control is very responsive, a lot more responsive than they ever expected, and that it's kind of feels really natural to play. So I you know, might want to try that one out, but still, it's not worth $300. Did somebody mention a, a pro a controller gimmick. for for the uh, Switch? Yeah, 70 bucks. 80 bucks. Yeah. 80, 80 bucks. 80 no, bucks. It's, seven, is that, no, is it's, like seven, it's 70. It's 70 for the Pro controller that looks like the Xbox controller, and then the Joy Cons are 80 if you buy both. Oh. Jeez. Yeah. Isn't it supposed to come with some fucking Joy Cons or whatever the fuck they call Yeah, it comes with two, but if you want an additional one, it's $50 uh, if you want both. I'll let your uh, grandma play. You throw them to her. Yeah. Here, don't mm -hmm. fucking chew on these. Uh, so they've got another Pro controller like the Wii U, basically. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh. I don't know. I heard that battery life is two to four or six hours or something, right? Depending on, yeah, what, you're yeah. game. Depending on what you're playing. So if you're playing any real game like Zelda, for instance, the most they said three hours was Zelda. So with Zelda on the brightness all the way up, three hours max. Jeez. So you have to walk around with a proton pack, like I said before. <laughs> you know, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like Z said, I think it's gonna be very interesting. Well, uh, I'm not. I'm not rooting for him to fail. As a matter of fact, we all kind of grew up in Nintendo, right? Uh, at least in some regard. And, and I would like to see them step it up. In my opinion, I don't. I don't think they necessarily have to do something completely different. Like they. They felt like they used to dominate the market by saying, "All right, here's a good system. It's got you know great sound, great color. And by the way, if you sell our competition's uh, hardware or games, uh, we're not going to give you any more to sell. You're going to go out of business." Like this used to be Nintendo, right? Like they used to do that to people. Uh, threaten them, uh, and that's kind of how they were so dominant. And now it's like we just got to be different. Instead of saying, you know what, we can do what the competitors are doing, but better than them, let's do it and show them. They're, they've just been on this this different wave for quite a while, and, and ever since mm -hmm. then, it's it's not been great. For they're them, just so. they're just really they're really cocky, you know, and they have no reason to be. I mean, yeah, they have the legacy. I understand that, but at the same time. It's like you're not you're not moving how we're moving, you know what I'm saying? Like voice chat on the app on your cell phone. So I gotta carry. It's already bad enough. I gotta carry two devices around when I get the switch, and that shit don't. So did they back. confirm the switch does not have voice chat? No, natively no. Yes, it does, does not have. It out. does not have voice chat. No. Yeah, no. you have to. Holy you have you have, to, you have to use your iPhone or whatever. You know, your, they call it, you know your smart device, and then you can talk that way. Set up play date appointments, which sounds really. Really so did weird. they just say fuck the whole Nintendo Network thing? Is that not a thing anymore, or what? 
I don't I don't know, dude. I know that with the premium service, you get a free game a month, which it filters out after the month's over. The new one pops up. The only cool thing to kind of mention about that was the game that they give you for free will have online multiplayer. So that's kind of mm-hmm. cool. But yeah, but you have it for one month and they take it back. Yeah, you, hell, you get it. For, you get it for one month and it's gone. I think that's that's crazy. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah. Door, I'll be right back. Yeah. What do you mean? Like you pay them money and you basically get to rent a game for a month? Yep. Whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that's a hard, uh, that was a horrible idea, dude. Yeah, I don't. What kind of crack rocks are these dudes smoking? Yeah, their 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 whole pricing structure, like like you know, the 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 dust is settled now. Like if I look at it as a handheld, it's pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. But not at three hundred dollars. If it was honest to tell you. If it was a handheld, they market it as a handheld. They price it at two hundred dollars. Let's say two fifty with Zelda, and and, and then they said, and by the way, you can hook it up to your TV when you're at home, and you can continue playing there. It, the reception would be a lot different. But instead, they're, they're they're touting it as a home console, so they're trying to compete directly against Xbox One, PS4. Doesn't have the same power. Does not have the the, the same features. Not even close. And they're pricing it higher than the PS4 and Xbox One. This is going to be priced higher because you can get an old school Xbox One in the States for about $245, $240, I've seen them. You can get the, the new Xbox One S, I've seen it as low as like $265, which is still cheaper than the Switch. The same with the, the PS4 Slim. It's it's cheaper than $300. Uh, the PS4 Pro, obviously, is it's in a different category. It's priced a little bit higher. But the, the entry-level consoles, it's, it's, it's more expensive than them with less power. Mm-hmm. And you're basically just paying all that money for that damn screen and that tablet and that processor to play it on the go, which some may or may not want to do. D, I actually, yeah, and I, I actually uh, had that argument yeah. with like a random like troll, and they said that the uh, the Xbox originally launched at 500, so they are not counting what you can get the Xbox and the PS4 at now. They are counting at the original. Like, oh, so rate. what are they gonna do? Build a fucking time machine? <laughs> right? I don't give a shit what it was at. You know, even come on, Marty. That's like that's like we're comparing PS3 six hundred dollar price tag to right now. That's fucking idiotic. Mm. So I don't I don't know that argument is uh, completely stupid. So yeah, that's 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 kind of crazy because X One S is is definitely more powerful. You've got a games library with uh, great games and, and a lot of people's opinion. Uh, and um, a lot of those games, especially that we're hearing now, are going to be or, well, they're all backward and forward compatible. So you'll have them forever. You're kind of building a library, kind of like Steam. Um, but some of them, or many of them, like Gears of War Four, Forza Horizon Three, all these games are getting Scorpio patches, so they're going to look mm-hmm. completely ridiculous. Which leads me into something I didn't really plan on going into, but. Uh, this reminded me of that argument where these guys are saying now, because the narrative has shifted, as we all know, we all know in our comment sections, that power doesn't mean anything. It's all about the games, right? And uh, while they're listing games that are on PC, while discounting games on Xbox that are also on PC, they're saying, well, it's about the games. Uh, Scorpio won't do anything for the Xbox brand because, you know, it's got the games that I prefer personally. And that's good. It's all opinion, right? But at the same time, Power is literally the number one reason people got the PS4, according to your very own surveys on PlayStation Network. That is why. Resolution power. You cannot tell me that, that Scorpio isn't going to help the Xbox brand it will. Uh, in, in regards to that aspect, right? Because you get multi-plats all the time. Exclusives uh, are pretty pretty far in between. And, to, and another thing, um, GameSpot just uploaded a video. Zelda Breath of the Wild has a 3 gigabyte install. Oh, that's actually really low. I thought it was doing yeah. away with installs from because uh, you you were using the cartridge, so you still got that, that, That's that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't no, I heard that. I heard that. Uh, I th- I thought it was more. I thought that it said Zelda was like 14 gigabytes or something. I don't know. Nah, I just seen it right now. It's three gigabyte install. How many gigs comes with the uh, the switch? Uh, I think it's 32 internal, and then you can. Exp- Band one uh, the SD card slot the two to two terabytes. That is that's cool though. It's not some proprietary Vita bullshit where you're paying a hundred bucks for. No, you you, know, you can get SD cards from um, next to nothing. So yeah, nothing, which is awesome. They went with the on a fanny pack with a bunch of SD cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're pretty fucking small. You know, you could, you could put them in between your ass cheeks and get away with Walk it. Probably around with a fucking Rolodex and shit. Nah. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. Another thing too. I mean, my thing is. The thing that bothers me the most, instead of seeing a lot of new games, I've seen a lot of ports for, for the Switch. A lot of fucking ports. 
What kind of ports? I haven't looked at it. Like, you know, they got Mario Kart coming out. Eight Mario Kart Deluxe Eight with new maps. Oh, you're battle. talking about like ports of old games. Yep. I was always like, "What the fuck?" Kind yeah, of like, ports. Fucking, <laughs> fucking deep. Oh, ports. so you got some old Wii U and Wii games. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You know yep. what the biggest issue again? Um, which is all going to boil down to? I guess it's like I was telling crap and guys that we have always seen. That we already seen this movie before, because when developers have to go out of their way, a to shoot on software to work on your uh, device, uh, when you have a a, a, a console device again that can't run any of the big AAA uh, multi plat You get exclusives that every three to four months. I don't care how yeah. great you, you think Nintendo's exclusives are, they don't release 12 exclusives a year. So you're going to have those dry spots and spells again where there's no software. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we don't really feel it, like I said, on the Xbox or the PlayStation tip because when we don't get a charter, we may get to the Destinies or. And injustice or the takings and all those stuff like that, and it's not going to get those games. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I said in the day we we've seen this movie already. Did you guys yeah. see the injustice uh, preview oh, yeah. trailer today? Yep. Yeah, that shit was awesome. Yeah. That's pretty raw. It's pretty raw. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, it was really cool. cool. It comes out to uh, one one sixty almost. Well, fuck, you know, close to two hundred people uh, checking us out. Uh, Random ass stream. Appreciate it, guys. Be sure and hit that like button. And like I said, if you want to know all these guys' information, I will say it again. Be sure and check this out when it uploads. All their stuff uh, will be there, and I will link it all down below. Uh, anything else anyone wants to Did talk? you guys hear about the uh, Borderlands developers said that um, about Borderlands 1 and 2? It is possible, but Borderlands 3 will not happen because they have other priorities. So that tells you that their parties in the Switch. Yeah, binary guy. Shout out to you, man. Um, yeah, they. They're not doing it. They're not doing uh even though it would kind of make sense on the Switch, you know, you know, playing co-op. Borderlands is a fun co-op game. Uh, I don't know. They don't want to do it. So is Borderlands three like not happening? Period or not just no? Happening? It, no, it's happening. It's, it's, it's not happening on the Switch, but it's happening. Uh, oh, look okay. at this. Look at this, guys. Just came through. Like I've been saying um for a while, they're saying Halo Six could be ready for launch alongside Project Scorpio in holiday two thousand and seventeen. <clears throat> they got to stay. Yeah, but they, they have to make up for five, bro. They have to. Nah, I think I, I. I don't know, man. I think you're smoking a football sized crack rock there. I think we might see. <laughs> you know why? You know why I say that? Because I've been. I'm all over Neil Gaff lately. I've been there reading all the threads, and Stinkles is there, and he's the developer. He's like the lead developer on. Yeah. Uh, on Halo, and uh, they asked him about the specs of um, the Scorpio, and he said he said he he said he can't remember the entire specs right now because he's so busy working on his next game, yada yada yada. And but he said that the the specs he vaguely remembers being uh, impressed mm-hmm. with the specs, it being a lot beefer than he thought it would be. But he said he's so focused on his their their next game which is bullshit because of course they would know so what is he so busy on you know so I, at least we well, just think that they're, they're going to be doing halo, halo. Well, like, oh, everyone here agrees that working on halo 6 i think they were working on it before they released five there is no better time to launch halo than with the launch of a new console man I so think there's no better, no better time, time to launch. I think there's no better time to launch some kind of new IP that's mature and and that people are into. You know, I think Halo's I, coming, right? But I don't think they'll release it in the same year as Halo Wars. I think we'll see a teaser trailer. That's what I think we'll see. I think it'll hit but, next year. We've we've had we've had two Halo games in one year before. Yeah, but it's not been a new Halo game. I don't know. It's not I, been too I, new. I, 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 I think I think they're going to do it. Soon. Too, I, too but you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people were very disappointed with that game. And what else to push the sales of the Scorpio than a brand new Halo that makes up for the mistakes of Halo Five, <laughs> and that is graphically impressive to show off. What a year Scorpio. And a half development, D. <laughs> but you know what they—they, they, you know what they—it's a, it's a new studio that's working on it. We don't know hey, how, don't how much work they've done before. Shit, you bad O four hundred. No, don't start your shit, dude. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if they could complete that. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm O for a hundred. Like oh, that's going years. a little far. But no, um, I don't. I, I don't think they'll launch a Halo with Scorpio, man. It'll, it'll probably be released in eighteen. Here's what you're gonna see. I guarantee you're gonna see Halo Five get Scorpio support. They might have a short little reel on third party and first party support for older games in Scorpio. Halo Five will probably run four K sixty. Uh, and also, I think you'll get a teaser for Halo Six. That's what I think. 
Well, let's see. Well, well, so Halo 5's got a ton of life, dude. They just released a big ass fucking update for it. You know, it's still extremely active, and there's still money to be made there. Uh, but we all know six is coming, right? Hopefully, they do yeah. something with the story, mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. Any other predictions for E3? Uh, oh, there, there was. I saw something. Uh, Phil said that Phantom Dust could make uh, could like be released before E3 or something like that. He was saying. Could be. Could be. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of a remake of the original, right? This is a remaster, I believe. Yeah, it would be a complete remake. Hopefully, hopefully they no, don't go back not, to the not, OGX not, Xbox. This is not. This is not a remake. This is a remaster. The remake. So they don't. They didn't go back and redo everything with all new. Like you know what I'm saying. Like the original oh. Gears of War got remade. It wasn't a remaster. That was a remake. They redid everything in that game in modern times. Is this going to be a simple remaster? I, I don't know remake? because I, the remake, to my knowledge, they canceled it. So I'm pretty sure well, it's going like to be a remaster. That's like a sequel or a reboot. A remake is like Gears of War Ultimate Edition, where it's the same game, but it looks like you know every single thing has been touched on that game. Is uh, what they said. Well, I, I don't know. Completely we don't have too much details on it, to be honest. So, or I don't. I think it might be a remake. I think it'll be a remake run at 4K. Myself. I don't know, but it's from to my knowledge, it's a remaster. That's what the word is. But yeah, like a remaster to me is like God of War on the PS4. Like it's just yeah, up it's 60 it's FPS. Be, yeah, it's supposed to be. Well, God of War is a little bit like a re a remake is like where everything is done. A remaster with like, game, like Modern it, Warfare. It, yeah. yeah. So. It's not. So, the, like, it's like they rebuilt it for today, right? Right. It's like a remake. Any other E three no. predictions? We might. I also think that we might see maybe a, a Halo or not a Halo, a Fable uh, trailer as well. Maybe a teaser for the next I Fable, so. a proper Fable yeah. sequel. Yeah. That'd be nice. I think. I think we'll see more Voodoo Vents. I think we'll see a couple, um, you know, nostalgic titles for E three um, coming back. So. Yeah, the Xbox excited. definitely needs a good platformer. We're definitely in need of a platformer, along with action I think, games. I think we're gonna see a brand new uh, elite controller for the Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's got lasers and shit in it. Lasers and fucking. You think we'll get maybe a new controller with yeah, uh, integrated? I, 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 yeah, I think we'll get a, I, think, and I think we'll get a new elite controller with a Mountain Dew dispenser button. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I hope they keep it with the uh, uh, the, the batteries the way it is. I, I hear all these Sony guys, oh, you guys are still using rechargeable batteries. I love it. I love like, it. First of all, I like to have the – first of all, you can get a plug-and-play where it's essentially the exact same as a PS4 controller but with much better battery life. Or you can dip it out with your own rechargeable AA batteries or you can just use disposable batteries. You have options where the PS4 controller, once that – it, it, every every uh, device has so many times it can be charged. Once it's it, it exceeds that, it will not charge. It will not hold a charge anymore. Mm-hmm. So when that happens with your PS- every time you charge that lithium, lithium ion, that charge gets worse and shorter. Yeah. So once so once your PS4 cannot it's it's reached the end of its cycle and it can't be charged anymore. That's it. It's dead. You got to throw it out. That will never ever happen with an Xbox controller. You just need to get new batteries and that's it. You're good to go. Hey, did you see that new battery pack for Xbox? And that's the thing. You leave it up to third part, third parties. Uh, like Xbox One has all kinds of really cool battery packs that are available for it. There's one out there that fucking has like a four-day charge, and it charges in 60 seconds or some crazy shit. Have you guys seen that? No. No, you might have to give us a link. Uh, it's crazy. Okay. Maybe the, it probably don't last like, I don't know, my controllers now with my regular battery packs last several days, but uh, I don't know how long it lasts exactly, but it's supposed to, it's a big battery and it charges in like a minute or two, something crazy. And that's what the thing you, you, know, you get with third party. Say what? The game? Uh, I will show it off at a tech show. I think it's coming this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was last year, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It was black. That that quick charge. I, I don't know if it ever saw the light of day. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's coming out this year. Uh, and also, they just started selling external SSDs uh, at major retailers. So you can go out and buy an SSD for your Xbox One right now, a 500 gigabyte one for around 100 bucks. Which, hey, it's a little pricey for the size, but that's that's pretty quick storage. I don't know if you guys are gonna pick one up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, external SSD. How much? What, what's what are they charging? It's like around 100 bucks for 500 gigs. It's nothing, you know. It's not a whole lot of storage, but it's it's pretty quick. Yeah, SSDs are fast. What do you yeah, want to speak? Yeah. What do you yeah. think the Scorpio's gonna come with a terabyte too? Yeah, I see a terabyte. 
I say the pro basically dictated what they have to offer as their base storage, and that's a terabyte. And you might see two SKUs, as we all know. It ain't the first time. It won't be the last yeah, time. It's going to be two SKUs because they, they're going to have to come in at a pretty aggressive price point towards the PS4 Pro because you better believe when it's Scorpio time that the PS4 Pro, they're going to try to dip their price a it's little Scorpio bit. Scorpio time. Yeah, they're going to try it. Get over here. They're going to try to, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna try to dip their price start to affect the Xbox One sales. So, you know, it, what's the pro at? Four hundred dollars now? So yeah. I would I would say next year it's probably gonna be at three fifty. Mm-hmm. And if the Xbox uh, Scorpio comes in at four hundred dollars, game over. Yeah, and you, you of course well, you're gonna get crackheads saying it's not possible, but of course it is possible, right? Four fifty is what I'm predicting for Scorpio. Yeah. Four fifty four fifty is such a such a odd number too. I've never I've never seen an Xbox that's not like a like a like an even number, like an even hundred. Well, yeah, not at launch, right? But I mean, even over the holidays, even still, I think X One S is around two fifty, right? Maybe that deal ended, but they do it all the time. People, like, people know that it's lower, and that's all they give a fuck. It's lower than five hundred. It's lower than four sixty. You know what I'm saying? So I think they'll yeah, do it. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think they can come in at four fifty at the at the base price. They got the lower the better, right? Yeah, they, I mean, they, they got to they got to come in at four hundred for it to for it to be aggressive. And uh, for it to be successful, they can't come in at four fifty five hundred. They can't. Yeah, because like, we'll like truth be told, you can just a bargain in my opinion. I buy it at five hundred dollars. At five hundred dollars, it's not a bargain because at five hundred dollars, I could I could build a PC that would you know be on par uh, or, or, or a little that. more. Like I said, I, w- I would still say that's around seven eight hundred bucks in my opinion to do that. Yeah, with the OS, like I said, well, just the power the- supply. The power supply is fifty bucks. You're not going to skimp out on the power supply. The case is going to be fifty to eighty bucks. You're not going to skimp out on that motherboard. Fifty to eighty bucks. You're not going to skimp out on that. If you skimp out on those things, that's going to fuck everything up. Your hard you drive, build, two terabytes, one twenty. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can buy a capable PC from these manufacturers for five hundred dollars that have an RX four eighty in it. So no. Yeah, that's still not as powerful as a Scorpio though. Uh, RX so, 480 is almost six teraflops. So the RX 480 is five teraflops. Good enough. It's five. Okay, it's 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 five. Okay, so it's five point five, but you can overclock it so you can get it up to six teraflops. Well, it's it's around five. Console console gamers, gamers, right? Everybody overclocking those GPUs. Yeah, but, uh, but but if you know, but if you're looking, if you know, you have to look at everything in the market. If you're looking at the market and price, a lot of people are jumping over to PC now because it is a little bit cheaper because it's not that yeah. much of difference in price. So you have to you have to look at that. No, I, Hey, you got to remember, too, though, that he walked inside the game stop and said, you know what? That pro is too much. Let me go get me a GTX 1080 from Walmart. That shit ain't happening, bro. <laughs> that's not true. There's a lot of – that's not true, man. A lot of – if you look at the statistics, to be honest with you, because I look at the numbers, D, a lot of people – your numbers, D. We, we, the cool console, console, oh, console sales are coming down. <laughs> Cons- console uh, – Hey, don't get overconfident because you got good on the Wii U. Doesn't mean everything you say is gold. Okay, you were you were you were you were right on that, and 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 I'll, and I'll and I'll give you that. But I know what I know at the same time. Ain't nobody walking and, this night at, at a midnight launch for Halo Six and be like, you know what, man, fuck this. Scorpio's too much. I'm going to get me two GTX 990s right now and throw them in my mouth. If, <laughs> but, but I'm going to guarantee you, if 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 the Scorpio if the Scorpio comes out the base model comes out at five hundred dollars as much as i love the xbox brand and i want to be successful it will not be successful at five hundred dollars it won't why won't it even then here's what here's the thing though you're, you're because at five hundred dollars you're gonna have you're gonna have zen that's coming out like i told you i'm a i'm a stockholder at amd so i know some of the stuff you're gonna have zen coming out you're gonna have um you're gonna have the new gpu coming out they're gonna be quite affordable they're not gonna be expensive that's they want to disrupt the market they want to take intel off of its pedestal with with a much okay, lower well, price that's point. Well and good. Check it out, right? But we see we we're part of this community, right? We right. even PC channels talk about consoles, okay? Right. We're talking about consoles. People buy con- <clears throat> motherfuckers out willing to spend three hundred dollars on a switch, something that's weaker than two thirty two thousand and thirteen hardware. You can't tell me that five hundred dollars or some top of the line shit is too much money for a console view. No, I, I listen. As long as the games look better graphically. That we have on the market now. I'm not talking about higher resolution graphically, and it's noticeable. They won't have a problem, you know, paying five hundred dollars for. People paid five hundred dollars in 2013 for the Xbox. Well, let's be realistic here. Yeah, but 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 how did that turn out? We lost we lost the battle. You know, it can't it can't it can't it, can't, it has to be close. It has to be. Cl- 
Gamers are stupid, man. Some of them. Where they're, where <laughs> gamers are stupid to the point where they're not. They're not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna say, "Oh, okay, the Xbox One is you know much better graphically." They're gonna see the price point as well. They're gonna say, "Okay, it's better graphically, but is it hundred and fifty dollars better graphically?" But if it's like within fifty dollars of the PS4 Pro, that's, that's not, that's it's an easy choice. For the last three years, there have not been people who've been claiming that. Well, first of all, they was the PS4 Xbox was didn't start powerful. to Xbox X, X, no. no. Xbox didn't powerful, start to gain steam. Yes, and, and you know what? And it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it sold a lot better. Xbox One didn't become successful until they lowered the price point and they decoupled it with the Connect. Their biggest which was more powerful, was $100 cheaper. No one complained about the final price. That's the cheaper. Xbox was more expensive than PS4, and it was less powerful. What are you talking about? That's, that's, that's what you just said. What I just said oh. oh, sorry. I misheard right. you. Yeah. Okay. So again. Anyway, y'all motherfuckers. Yeah, but it, but it, but it, it didn't get it didn't get a lot of sales because of that. That really hurt it coming out the gate. And I'm saying, who got a lot of sales? We need to smack that shit out of the air because it's still destroying P- both the PS3 and 360 uh, at the same point in their life cycles. PS4. Yeah, but but, but but to the no no in in, in, in oh, the, shit. I'm telling you, <laughs> it, it it can't it. It can't be a hundred dollars more than the uh, PS4 Pro. Well, we don't want it's gotta to be. be it's we don't be want it to be $50. either. That we don't want it to be either. It has it's to not be. like we're disagreeing with you. Just from a business standpoint, they can't do it. They, yeah, it has, I, it, it I, won't I, be as successful. They will sell I, less. Well, first well, yeah, of, all, of course. I mean, if it's twenty bucks more expensive than than four fifty, it'll probably sell less statistically, right? Like, obviously, the cheaper the better, right? Yeah, a, a so we want it to be as cheap as possible. When they start talking about 4K 60 native on duty and like we can't even forget what's been going on for the last three years. Everything's been resolution and, and you know, and like I said, as long as Microsoft hammered it at home and the games look better graphically, you know, what I mean, we the, the average consumer can tell. Yeah, I, I don't you know what I, I don't I don't want I don't want Microsoft to compete. I want Microsoft to jab, jab, duck and weave and give like a fucking right uh, a Tyson Be right hook. Aggressive. That's that's what I need them to do. Yeah. And for them to do that, they have to be within like fifty dollars of the PS4 Pro to where it's a no brainer decision. When someone walks in the store, it's like, what should I get? The PS4 Pro or the Xbox Scorpio? Holy shit, it's only fifty dollars more and look how much more powerful it is. It, okay. It'd be a no brainer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, look at this like this. There's no secret that the PS4 sales, right, have been kind of abysmal. I, I was actually, I was going to do a video on it. It's not selling as expected, right? PS4 Pro, right? PS4 Pro. Okay. The problem that the PS4 is having, let's be clear, let's be clear of this, that Sony is wasting the console resources on resolution. The games don't look that much better graphically, okay? If Sony would just sit to, uh, to 1080p, 60, and give us better graphics, the fucking, and things would look better graphically, People won't have a problem, you know. Well, whatever. Yes, I agree. And, and again, and as long as Scorpio does that, games look better. Not just resolution graphically than what's on the market. I don't. I, I don't care what the price is. I'm just saying. I don't think it will be an issue. So, uh, uh, you know. <clears throat> no, I don't. And it's I, I don't up think to Microsoft. Microsoft it is up to Microsoft to communicate that with us and be very intelligent. Look at PS4 Pro's flaws and the P, the things people are complaining about the most. And it's up for them to do that. And and when you're talking about five hundred dollar PCs keeping up, I don't even think that it'll be very easy to do that at all with Scorpio. And I don't think Scorpio will hit it five hundred. It's not practical, uh, and that's without putting a four K Blu Ray drive inside that PC as well, which would jack that price up three hundred more dollars because they're shooting. Well, there's no four K. There's well. no Blu Ray player for PC. Period. So. Yeah, I have one right now on my PC. There is you one. Yeah, a four K Blu Ray player. If you're, if you're talking. No, not my P. I'm saying I have a Blu-ray player in my PC. 4K Blu-ray players weren't out back then. So I'm saying, though, if you're counting all hardware capabilities being identical for $500, it's not even fucking close because Scorpio has that performance, a controller, probably yeah. all the games you bought in the past, and a $300 Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray player as well. Like, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't see people. Now, people do jump to, to PC to see what it's all about, and a lot of them never touch multiplayer. They're still console dudes at heart because they don't want to use mouse and keyboard online. There's a lot of dudes like that, myself included, that's my number one reason for not jumping to PC because if you're competitive and you don't want to use mouse and keyboard, then you better not yeah. fucking do it. Don't waste your money because you're getting all that yeah. performance that you were complaining about not having for three years finally in the Scorpio. Now is not the time to yeah. jump, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I, I don't I don't play yet. I, there's only certain games that like maybe sports games and stuff that I play multiplayer on PC, but you're right, like the shooters and stuff, you will get decimated by these guys with keyboard and mouse. I will admit the elite key the elite um controller with the tweaks that you can make to it, make it a little bit 
more competitive, but still you're going to get your clock. It's that one-to-one -one accuracy of that mouse. Yeah. It's yeah. just You can't fuck with it. And I know they're going to bring mouse and keyboard to Xbox eventually, but they're going to segregate those servers, uh, and it's not going to be an issue for those that don't want to fuck with any of that. I do not blame I, you. I've been there. I've been sniped by pistols from a mile away in Battlefield by dudes using mouse and keyboard. It's fucking insane. Yeah, so, but I, I, I stand by it, though. I do not think they can launch it at 500 450 the most, uh, and I really think they should really launch it at 399 and that would just that would really disrupt the market and shake shake you know turn a lot of heads yeah that'd be a very aggressive microsoft to say fuck it we're gonna we may even yeah. take a little bit of a tiny loss on this even who knows if that'll even be the case and we're going to fight to get uh those people yeah. back because i get comments every day talking about you know fuck i'll get rid of my pro or and my ps4 or just my ps4 etc uh scorpio is what it should be and it's but, but if, if they sell it at um 400 bucks they'll be taking they'll be selling out a loss right not necessarily we don't know, we don't know how much it's going to cost them to make we don't know the contracts that they've signed and and, 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 and usually, and usually and all that's a lot cheaper uh, yeah usually for, as for, the as they go up with the architecture usually it becomes cheaper to produce it right, right. so yeah. I, I like um polaris was pretty cheap so i'm going to assume that you know some elements of vega are going to be cheaper mm-hmm so, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty good discussion. Anything else you guys want to say? We're going to wrap this up. Once again, guys, thanks for joining us. Be sure and hit that like button. And uh, if you got any comments you want any of us to get to, be sure and comment after this video posts and reduce to the channel. That's the easiest way to get back to you guys. Anything else you guys want to cover or touch on Michael Jackson style? Anything? Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, not really. I picked up some new toys. Uh, I picked up uh, Surface Pro 4, and it's fucking amazing. Oh, oh wow. that's nice. Yeah, and then and then I, I picked up a Phantom, a Phantom Three Advanced with, with a 4K camera. So I'm gonna be doing some that? filming with that and throw it on YouTube. It's one of those drones. Oh, nice! Like professional nice. drones. So yeah. Oh, it's a drone with a 4K camera. Yeah, okay. that's so, cool, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be having some fun with that. that. What'd you say? How much was the Surface? Uh the Surface Pro. I got it for a good price, man. It retails. It retails for about fifteen hundred. Like, but, uh, see, there you go. Like, it retails for like fifteen hundred. I got the price. Yeah, you see, like, you God damn, hey, your mic is bugging, man. What? You got to fit in your. Yeah, you take it out of your asshole, man. There you go. All right. Now, <laughs> I was saying, nah, it was nah. Um, that's how you know. You see, when 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 folks like D. When they don't want to tell you the price or something, man. You see how he kept on going around the circle? He's like, <laughs> my brother, my brother, you ask him too much questions. The thing is good, man. You just let them go, okay? That's how you know he's a brother, man. Brothers, if they pay a nice penny, they're not going to tell you how much it costs, man. And, and well, D, how much you pay for that? Oh, shit. He got that off the home side of his network. <laughs> 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 that crazy. Uh, hey, how much you pay this shit? Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's a good price. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> I'm going out like Woody Lump Lump. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got a question for everybody. What's everybody been playing this week? Uh, Halo. Well, yeah, Reaper, you not even included. Um, <laughs> well, now, everybody, we, we, <laughs> I told you what I'm doing, man. I, I just joined the Guardian Angels. I'm patrolling the, 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 the neighborhood. The parking lots, Target, Walmart, <laughs> <laughs> from these motherfucking uh, these weird, these weird, weird widows. They came out of the woodwork. They've been quiet this whole generation. Now they got flash nice and brass knuckles. They incite the console <laughs> war, man. These jokes are wild. Uh, you you know you know you can tell somebody to play Nintendo a lot, man. You got a wallet with a chain on it. <laughs> hey, I, I, I met I met, a, I met a real life uh Wii U weirdo uh two days ago uh. I had something in one of my stores that I was selling. The gentleman, he couldn't make it out, so it, it was a good amount item. So I said, okay, all right, I'll bring it to you. So I went to bring it to the gentleman. Holy smokes, the guy had like some he had a Nintendo. On. He had like he had like yeah, he had like a Nintendo jacket on. He had really, really, really like skinny, skinny jeans, and he was really, really skinny with some it's type probably, of probably New Balances, yeah. some weird type of uh, Asian shoes. And I like okay, it was a guy definitely, but I couldn't tell if it was a guy or girl. Like it looked like it looked like Link. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, and then and then uh, when I'm texting the person, I said, "How do I know who you are?" He goes, "Oh, it'd be really easy to spot me out. I'm the guy with the Pikachu hat." I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, no. <laughs> I swear, true story. I swear, man. You lucky you made it out of that house. <laughs> 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 call the police. Hey, uh, all day, all day. I know what you've been playing, but tell the people what you've been playing. Oh man, I've been 
losing my life in that Witcher 3, man. I am Gerald, just painted a little darker, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been, uh, been enjoying that game, man. I'm, you know, I talked to, I forgot who I was talking to in the party last night, but they said they uh, bought the game at launch as well. And they stopped playing it, and they just recently got back into it. You know, I, I feel like it's just people. I don't know. I don't know if people expect it with that game right away. I think they kind of have misinterpretations of it. Well, it takes like it. five to eight hours, as you know, to really get like yeah, into, it does. immerse yourself. And if you're not the type to immerse yourself in the story or pay pay the fuck attention, then you're probably not going to like it. But yeah. still, and it gets a little bit hard too, man. It. Oh yeah, it, gets it killing some of those level. some of those wolves. I'm like, I'm like, oh fuck, and like. Something comes out and kills me from the back. I'm like, oh, fuck, I almost had him. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to get lap past level three, D. Yeah. What have you, <laughs> yeah. you been playing, Zyre? Uh, actually, I haven't been playing nothing but oh, back gaming with my old ass grandmother in CeeLo. Oh, <laughs> since she's been occupying my time, man. We've been playing, playing crap since 4 o'clock in the morning. But I'm about to get right. back on my, on my phone. I've been playing, uh, actually, me and my girl just found every collectible in Plants vs. Zombies yesterday. Oh, nice. Playing. Very accomplished. There's a lot of them in there. That's a good game, man. Part two or one? Two, two. One didn't have any, but both of them are really good games. People judge oh, them off the way they look. Yeah, but those are fun games, man. Yeah. God of Warfare, dude. It was. Uh, I played a little bit of it on the EA Access when I uh, subscribed to it, and it, I was enjoying it, man. Where do you? Yeah, it's like where do you think Battlefront and, and some of that stuff got their models? Like Battlefront ripped all that uh, that system right out of place for zombies. With its upgrade shit and Zaire, some fucking alligator just chewed through his internet cord. <laughs> but, uh, He's getting out early today. <laughs> yeah, that fucking ain't even hanging around. <laughs> I got some bumps and these shits are itching. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Uh, uh, his supervisor called him, man. He's on patrol at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, once again, fellas, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you want all these guys' information, go ahead and watch the beginning of this video. You'll be able to find them on YouTube, Twitter, uh, where the fuck they live, their credit card number, all that shit. And uh, as always, subscribe for more shit like this. This is not my podcast. Somebody asked me that. It is not mine. It's Sire's podcast. We just decided to host it over here one week, and I'm glad we did. So I don't normally do videos this long, um, but, you know, like I said, for any kind of tech stuff, uh, be sure and subscribe. And same for some of these fellas here. But anyways, uh, anyone got anything else to say before we get out of here? Oh, 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 bitch. All right. Well said. Well said. All right. Thanks for joining us, fellas. We're out.